Hi there. Uh, in this particular video, what we're going to understand is how exactly can we value an FRA contract. So when we talk about valuing an FRA contract, what I mean here is uh, whosoever was the long party or the short party or whosoever was the long FRA or the short FRA. All right. Uh, the value for that party is something that we need to calculate. Basically, the profit or loss which either the short party or the long party is making. Again, goes without saying this is a linear contract. It means that whatever the long party is gaining, the short party would be losing and vice versa, whatever the short party would be winning, the long party would be losing. So uh, revising what exactly a long party in FRA is, is the person or is the party who agrees to borrow at a fixed rate that is pre-decided here on a particular date for a given time period. All right. And the short party is agreeing to lend. So say for example, we are starting with a 1 by 4, 1 into 4 FRA contract that is the long party will be borrowing after one month for a period of four months, for a period of three months rather. All right, so this three months we get it from four months. So uh, one month is 30 days and uh, you're borrowing it for three months, that is 90 days. All right, we have a 360 days convention for our FRA contract and we also uh, go for simple interest or multiplication rather than uh, using power for compounding. All right, so that we have already spoken about. Uh, there was an FRA contract which we spoke one into four FRA contract. Uh, say for example, the long party has agreed to borrow one million dollars after thirty days for a period of ninety days at a rate of five point three two percent. At a rate of five point three two percent. So the long party has agreed today that after thirty days. I'll be borrowing money from you, that is a short party, at what rate? At 5.32%. This is annualized, annualized rate, all right? Whatever rates we see are always annualized. How much amount will I borrow? I'll borrow an amount of $1 million. So this is something that has already been spoken about, all right? So now, uh, say for example, when we reach here, all right? This is the day when, you know, we get to decide whether the long party is gaining or the short party is gaining because we'll have the rate at time period 30 for those next 90 days for which the loan amount is going to be sanctioned. So here after 30 days, you know, the 90, uh, say for example, the 90 day rate has increased to 6%. 6 All right. When these days have passed at this point in time, say for example, the now new rate for 30, 90 days uh, loan period is nothing but 6%. So who is winning here? Definitely the long party. Why definitely the long party? Because the long party had agreed to borrow at what rate? At 5.32%. Had the long party not entered into this contract, the long party would have to pay 6% for borrowing the same amount. So the long party is definitely making a profit here. But uh, by how much that is something that we are going to calculate. But what you need to understand is given that the rate increases, the long party makes money. Why the long party is making money given that the rates are increasing? Because they had agreed to borrow initially at a lower rate all right, at the same time period. All right. If they wouldn't have done that, they would have to borrow at a higher rate. So that is the reason why the long party is winning when the interest rates go up. And the short party gains when the interest rates go down. That goes without saying. All right. So how much profit is the long party making? Let us understand that. So definitely the difference of these two is something that we need to you know calculate. But since the contract is for 90 days, we need to take into account the number of days as well because these two rates are what? They are yearly rates. They are yearly rates. All the rates that we have are yearly rates. We always have to change them accordingly. All right. So see, 6% is what the current rate is. All right. So the current rate, always I'll be calculating the value for the long party and the value for the short party would be the opposite of that. All right. This is the current rate. All right. Why did why have, have I multiplied it by 90 upon 360? Because the contract is for 90 days. All right. The loan that we're going to get is only for 90 days. And this is an annualized rate. So we are de-annualizing things. All right. Here we are de-annualizing the rates. Minus the original rate. All right. Minus the original rate. Again, the original rate is 5.32%, but it is an annualized rate. So we are again doing what we are de-annualizing the rates. Again, we are doing what? We are de-annualizing the rates. So we have done that. Uh, now these are the rates. Uh, what if we want the amount or the profit or loss in terms of dollars? So we'll have to multiply the gain with the notional principle that we have. And the notional principle is nothing but $1 million. So what exactly happens uh, in an FRA contract is also cash settlement. There's no real 
you know loan being taken here whatever the difference is there is being settled so whatever amount we are going to calculate right now would be set settled between the long party and the short party and no real loan is made between these two parties so let's try and calculate this please make sure your board mass is very clear you know while you attempt these questions in terms of calculation so that would be i guess Seventeen hundred dollars. Alright, seventeen hundred dollars. So I've I've solved this bracket in one go. Uh, the idea is simple: zero point zero six minus zero point zero five three two. Alright, into ninety by three sixty. Alright, so you'll get the answer as zero point zero zero one seven multiplied by the notional principal, and that is seventeen hundred dollars. So the long party would have made seventeen hundred dollars here at this point in time. Alright, at this point in time. But we know that the FRA contract gets expired here. All right, we know that the FRA contract gets expired here. This is something that is very important to understand. See, the loan period is this. All right, so whatever money that we have calculated or whatever value that we have calculated so far is here. All right, at this point in time when the contract is ending or when the loan period is ending. All right, I'll not say the contract is ending. I'll say the loan period is ending. So the loan period ends here. That is when we calculate the uh, total profit or loss, and this is the point where the contract end, ends. Which contract? The FRA contract. All right. So we want to calculate the value at this point in time. So what you need to do is you need to bring back this seventeen hundred dollars to this point. So we simply have to uh, discount things. So seventeen hundred dollars divided by one plus what is the new rate now? Always discounted with the new rate because this was just a contract rate. All right, this was not the real rate by which you'll be discounting your money. This is the real rate. So it would be 0.06 into, again, you have 90 days here. So into 90 upon 360. Please be very clear with your board mass. Always do the multiplication first and then add one. All right, so say for example, 1700 divided by 1 plus, I'll do the multiplication for 0.06 multiplied by 90 divided by 360. That is 0.015. All right, so that would be 1700 divided by 1 1.015. 1674.8768 is the answer, which can be rounded off to $1675. All right, which can be rounded off to $1675. So this is exactly how you know you calculate the value of an FRA contract at expiry or at maturity. All right, when the FRA contract is getting expired or getting matured. Uh, so this is one part of the story now say for example in this timeline itself what if we want to calculate the value here after 20 days of entering into the contract all right Th there is a way to do that as well that is something that will be understanding in the next video but what you need to understand is how do you exactly calculate the value at this point in time it's pretty simple whatever the new rate is you subtract with your original rate all right and then uh, you uh, you you deanalyze both the rates goes without saying and you multiply it by the notional principle You'll get the amount here at the termination of loan period, but what? But where do you want the amount? You want the amount at the end of the FRA contract. So that is where, that is why you discounted for the 90 days that we had in our hands. All right. So this is exactly how things work around. So it's pretty simple how you do it for an FRA contract. All right. The idea is simple. Always have the new rate and subtract it with the original rate. All right. How we did it for our uh, forward contracts or future contracts for that matter. All right. So in the next video, we'll understand how exactly to calculate the value of an FRA contract during the uh, contract period and not at the end of it. Thank you.